Kitchen crew, Joe Ann Lehman, ain't isn't it? Uncle Bill. Amen, brother. What's the supper, Uncle Bill? Ribeyes, brother. <laughs> Aren't you glad you come by? <laughs> I'm glad that I came by. There's right. former Tiger Love, Billy Wade's back here on the grill cooking. Cooking, cooking. Yeah, check those ribeyes. Next week, there it is, folks. First Baptist ribeye, looking good. More of our kitchen crew, Jerry Treadway, former Tiger, Aunt Mary, hey. former Tiger Uncle Ralph back there. Oh. How's everybody today? Great. And coming out of the kitchen is former Tiger Bill Webb. I'll start this one. Oh, Mr. Mr. Clam. Extraordinary coordinator, Joe Story. Absolutely. season seeing what you all have accomplished has been amazing and uh, I congratulate you on that I want to talk to you about uh, something the Lord's laid on my heart uh, I know we have some ladies in here but but one of the things that I found in, in a Bible study that I'm doing is 
something that God has revealed to me through His Word and through the study is, is God intends for the men that submit themselves to Him be great men. You know, when, when God saved my soul, when he, he made me acceptable in His eyes through the blood of Christ in order to go to heaven, He didn't save me simply to go to heaven. He saved me and left me here so that I could do something great. And I can be great in different areas of my life. God wants me to be a great dad. He wants me to be a great husband. He wants me to have a great home. He wants me to protect it. He wants me to do uh, great in providing for my family. He wants me to do great in the ministry that He's given me. So there are a lot of things that God wants me to be great in. And I look at throughout Scripture and I find men that submitted themselves to God, and not simply God, uh, a lot of people use God as a generic term, but the Lord God, the one with all authority and with all power, the one who created all things. That God called men, and, and He didn't simply call them to do something, but He called them to do something great, and in doing that, He made them great men. Uh, Abraham was one of those who became the father of the nation of Israel. David, who was a shepherd boy, who became king of all Israel. Uh, throughout Scripture, you'll find men who did great things and became great men because of their submission to the Lord God, the one with all authority and with all power. You think of Gideon, who, who defeated an army of thousands with an army of 300. God asked him to do something great and he became a great man. There's one judge in the book of Judges, and I can't even think of his name right now. There's only two verses in, in all of Scripture that name his name, but he was a farmer. And, and he took the instrument that he plowed the ground with, and he took out 600 Philistines that were invading his land. God made him great in that moment. And he, he became a great man because he submitted to the will of God. And God wants you to be great. And, and I've, I've witnessed something from you all that has, has been tremendous. Uh, and, 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 and I don't say this to be rude, and please don't take that way, but when I first started watching you at the beginning of the season and, and, and seeing you play and listening to the people around me being new to this area, I was, I was ready to feed you the last meal for the last game of the season. But there came a point in this season that something happened with you all and you started being great. And that greatness has brought you to the place that you are here now. And you have the potential to do even more with that. And I want to encourage you to continue doing what you're doing because, because you have started being great. And I don't know what that is. I don't know what that was. But you have energized a school, a community, and, and, and a surrounding area with, with what you all have accomplished. But the one thing I want you to get out of this today is that God has a purpose for your life. And, and beyond football, He wants you to be great. But the only way that you can be truly great in the eyes of an almighty God who has given everything for you is to surrender your total self, all that you are, to his will and say, whatever you want is what I'll do. In scripture, in the book of Exodus chapter 34, it says, Thrice in the year shall all of your men, children, appear before the Lord God, the God of Israel. It goes on to say, For I will cast out the nations before thee, and enlarge thy borders. Neither shall any man desire thy land, when thou shalt go up and appear before the Lord thy God thrice in the year. Three times a year, the men of the nation of Israel were to go before God. They were to leave their families, their homes, all the men in the military, all the, men that, uh, all the children that were old enough to be in the military, they left their entire land to go and spend time with God. <laughs> And in doing so, they did that three times a year. And in those three times a year, they recommitted themselves to the will of God, to His authority, to His power. And God made a promise to them. 
He says, when you do that, when you surrender to me, when you submit to me, nobody will desire your land. Nobody will desire what you have. Nobody will come against you because I'll be there and I'll have your back. To be great is to be submitted to God. And I want to encourage you. God wants you all to be great men. But that starts with a surrender to the God of heaven. Before we pray, um, Chase? Y'all ready to play tonight? Yeah. Yeah. yeah! You ready to play tonight? Yeah! yeah. Guys, congratulations on being part of history. One of five teams to make it to the substate. But I don't think being a part of history is good enough. Y'all need to write history. And you got eight quarters left to write history. For you seniors, tonight's your last time that you'll play on Civitan Field. And for some of you all, hopefully you guys have, you've only got eight quarters left of football. And then it stops. And you got a coach. And you got to help. You've got to ruin your clothes painting football fields. So, like we said last week, we're leaving it all out. Nobody's believed in you all year, except for the people in this room. Fans didn't believe. Sullivan North didn't believe. Hampton didn't believe. Meigs County didn't believe. We're making believers. Okay? That first round game, we were at 710 Field, and you could have, you know, let nobody in there. It's going to be all different tonight. <coughs> we turned them all into believers. All right? We're playing with house money. Y'all know what house money is? House money. <laughs> house money is when someone gives you money, okay? And it, it's just your money, it's your money to lose. There's no pressure with house money. So when you get house money, you push it all in. We're pushing it all in tonight for four quarters. Now at the end of the night, we're gonna make believers out of Tyner. We're gonna come back here next Friday night and eat, and we're gonna go to Cookful and bring back a gold ball. Yeah. So don't be content with being a part of history. Be content with writing history. We've got eight quarters to do it, and it starts here in a couple hours. So good luck. Thank you. Let's pray, guys. Father God, I pray that your hand be upon this team. Father, I pray that you do something great with them tonight. Father, again, that they are the team of our community. They, they are a team that I've fallen in love with. And, and Father, I pray that you'd give them victory. Uh, I pray, Father, that you would help them as they have practiced, as, they, as they've prepared. Lord, to continue being the young men that they've become over this process. And Father, that they would go out there and, and they would just blow us away. But above all, that they would blow the other team away. We believe in them. And Father, we ask that you would bless them. Be with their coaches. And Lord, I pray that you keep them injury free. And Lord, let them play to the best of their ability. In Jesus' name, amen. amen. I got to be back at 445. 445.